I have to put it in a ponytail. That's how bad it is. I could have done a better job myself. Is Maria doing her makeup? Yes, makeup just for my last cardio. Last cardio session. Yeah, so we're just gonna do half of what I used to do. So I was doing only 40 minutes per day, and now Tom just said for me to do half of it, just to kind of like get the, um, just to kind of like walk a little. I just, I'm brain dead right now. Um, but yeah. So I always use, a lot of people say, why does she use makeup to go to the gym? I don't use makeup, it's just a BB cream, a little powder, but you know, this is what I do for a living, it's just like when people go to the office, they, they get dressed up. The same thing for us, I hate going to the gym like being a mess, uh, because that's not me, that's not my personality. So, yeah, who cares about what other people say? See the whole collection of fragrances here. Oh yeah, that's my tradition since day one. So every time I go to a show, uh, I get one or two perfumes because it reminds me, the smell reminds me of, you know, the moment that we live in right now. So it just, it has a, the, the sense is just, I know what, what year it was or, you know, what show it was. Uh, so this time I bought this one, I loved it, Tom Ford. And then I bought the new Dior. Um, yes, so every, every year, I mean, every show, there's a meaning, <laughs> the smell. Yeah, so basically it brings back memories. Yeah, because, you know, one day this is not going to happen anymore, but I know, you know, memories will only be with you. So, yep, and I love these times. Um, yeah, I know, I know you have like a huge collection of perfumes and yeah, everything. Yeah, and I made Japa. Remember that we went to, uh, we went to Ohio, right? Yeah, that was what, for, um, I think it was 2020, yeah. 20, when the, when the, when started, right the, the pandemic, pandemic hit. started, yeah, so we, we went to, uh, the Arnold Classic, we were going to the Arnold Classic. Yeah, so it was just Japa and I, we had some clients, um, competing, so Japa went with me, and, uh, <laughs> I got Japa into the same habit, so we almost lost the flight because of it. Right? Yeah, we were in that perfume store for like a good 40 minutes. Yeah. But who doesn't love perfumes and colognes? I'm well, obsessed crazy with it. Because like we started to like get dizzy, lightheaded. Felt yeah. like I was drunk. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, there's one thing that somebody always has to be. They have to have a good smell. You can be the nicest looking guy or the nicest looking girl if you smell bad. Ugh, that's a turn off for anybody, right, Java? Yeah. That... Or you can be an ugly per not ugly. I don't want to say that not pretty person, but if you wear the right cologne <laughs> or right perfume, it's like a whole different thing. What well, makes heads turn? Yeah. Um, so I'll see you guys at the gym. We're just gonna do a little cardio. Tommy's getting ready, but I'm just gonna go there to kind of hang out. I right, go. Just do my little party and then wait for you guys and then bye bye until. Okay. Oh, and then we have to go to the airport pick up my parents. I mean, my dad and my sister. And then tomorrow, my mom and my other sister comes in here and my sister's boyfriend. And that's it. And then we should be complete. My brother just arrived this morning. They went to have fun with my other sister. And then, yep. Yeah. So we're on our way to my last, last cardio. Usually I'll do a cardio right before, you know, uh, I start carving up tomorrow, one day out. But Tom said no more, so it is what it is. Let's go. <sighs> so yeah, um, I think we're just gonna do like 20 minutes 
see how it goes. If I don't feel 100%, I'll just stop it. I think a lot of people wonder what's the difference between treadmill versus Stairmaster. Why would you prefer one over another? You know? So, my main goal is not to lose my legs. So I know, you know, I have tried uh, Stairmaster uh, before, but I've been trying the treadmill for uh, for a while already, and until now, it hit, it helped me uh, keep the, the the volume of my legs not, you know, damaging uh, any type of um, uh, size. Does your cardio change as it gets closer to the show? So. I mean, I did uh, not really. I mean, just the, uh, not the intensity, but the, the the time. So I go with the flow. I see how my body looks. So I used to do an hour cardio before. Now I do only 40 minutes. I have done 20 minutes. So it depends how. I never say, okay, this is the amount I'm gonna do. I just go with the flow. If my body changing. Is my body changing? Then I'll accommodate the the cardio. Um, that will uh, help me improve. But for now, this this prep, I did 40 minutes cardio every day, uh, and then 20 minutes today. So let's see. Okay, Tom, so we're one day out from the Olympia now. Um, just talk to Maria about doing her cardio. Yeah, what happened was she was she was at the, the hotel. She was like, I gotta do cardio. And we did a little posing session and uh, what happened was I told her, I said, well, right now you don't need anything really. I mean, I never seen her in this condition before. The muscle separation, every movement she makes, everything pops. So I didn't think she needed to do any cardio, to be honest with you. And this is the best I ever seen her. So, you know, I, uh, I just think that she's just doing that little walk and that should be more than fine. Hi. Speak. All right, so. Luna, come here. Ray's little sister has arrived. <laughs> Who are you? Hi. Introduce yourself. I'm Josefa. Josefa. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Come here, little butt. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel, what? you have to introduce yourself. You do have to introduce yourself. Yeah, he's for you. Her brother. Nacho. Nacho. Gazpacho. And Daniel. Her dad. Look at that, huh? Look at this. Ready for the Olympia. Are you mute? How is that? What do you about that? Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready for Olympia 2000. Yeah. Pretty great. Nico loves you. And of course the dogs. Luna. Luna. There you are. Come on. They're ready to go out. Nico is ready to go out. Oh yeah, baby. Come here. Um. Yes. And then now they're ready to eat because everybody's hungry. So I'm just gonna make things for them to eat. And then we should be good. All right, so where are you after, Maria? So we're going to try out this new, um, not new, I mean trying to find a salon that that's like a, you know, a blow dry but a good one. So my hair is curly, it's not crazy curly, but I like when the hair is flowy and straight. Not when it's like, like, how, could, how can I say that? Um, like, like the, uh, I don't know how to explain like, yeah, that. I don't, yeah. So for that, like how I to, do my, yeah. Yeah, they, for that they have to really know how to blow dry. Cause and, a uh, lot of people use a strainer, like the, the, yeah, uh, the hand Somebody strainer. And for curly hair, it just doesn't work well. I might try that today with my hair. Hazard reporting ahead. Okay. Uh, so we're going there, let's see how it is. You gotta explain to them how many places you've been and the experience has been now where you wanted it. Yeah. You know? 
and then yeah so that's what we're doing we're hopefully it comes out the right way if not i'm gonna be very pissed off uh, and then i'm usually gonna wash my hand when i do it myself but that's not the point that's why i'm going there i think it's gonna be a testament for me because i have the curliest hair right now and we'll see how that works out by all the before and after pictures from the salon they look pretty good so let's see hopefully and yeah and then at 2 p.m. we have then we have to go back to the hotel then um, get, have ready. To get ready for the meeting the meeting is pretty quick but you have to be there on time because at 2 o'clock is the ticket and then 2 30 something another category so we have to be there by 2 so they're probably gonna give us a uniform they're gonna give us you know uh, tickets and whatever we need and the instructions of what's gonna happen tomorrow and then yeah so at 7 p.m. we have the meeting greet and Usually we stay there for an hour and um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to stay too long because I have to wake up at 4 in the morning. So I have to go to sleep by 10 max so I can get a good night's sleep. That's how my body reacts pretty well. So I'll be there for an hour and then time to go to bed and that's it. Ready for tomorrow. What's your schedule like tomorrow morning? So at 4.20 a.m. I have makeup um, and then 5.20 I have my hair uh, then so it'll be like probably two hours makeup my hair then then I get ready and then I have to go to the, the already to the to pre-judging because we start at 9 and we're like second on the list so usually once the first group comes out they already oh, the other group is already getting ready so yeah it's gonna be like one after the other one so i should be on stage by probably 10 to 30 and then 11 o'clock i should be done so it's kind of crazy because by this time tomorrow here is 10 40 i should probably be in a stage or out of stage crazy right Alright, we just got done with your... What was that procedure called? A blowout? It does, this is not even a procedure. I could have done a better job myself. Like, this is what I do. That's why I go to the salon to get a better done. Like, a job better done. And look at this thing. I had to put in a ponytail. That's how bad it is. And the lady is like, oh, your hair is so dry. No, it's because you don't know how to blow dry. My hair is supposed to, as soon as you go like, yeah. you know, you blow dry, your hair is supposed to be straight and shiny. And I even do, did a booster of uh, hydration yesterday night, so there's no way my hair was supposed to come out like this. But I'm not gonna stress out about they, it. They, they literally just blow dried it. They didn't, yeah. No, they didn't they even blow dry. dry. It was yeah, they went like like this, oh, and, yeah, then, and then the, with the strainer, anybody can do that. And then they charged my sister $15, no, uh, 15 plus 30 dollars yeah 15 dollars to to wash her hair because we got out of there so it's okay though because we already booked another appointment um in the salon that i guess he won like eight years in a row uh best blow dry uh yeah best blowouts so hopefully that will work out well um it's just a little aggravating because we had actually called before we came in to ask if two people could serve us so that way it will be faster and we got there and it, that was not the case either uh, so yeah light after line it's okay though we got a new appointment uh, i think it's gonna be good marie is gonna go rest a little bit before her two o'clock that's uh meeting and then we'll go ahead to the appointment and then it's a greeting meet so fun